rises over Please the vast red Australian desert, casting a golden glow on endless sands. Daniel, Tara, and Ben stand silhouetted against the vastness, their forms dwarfed by the sweeping landscape, anticipation and uncertainty reflected in their expressions. They follow faint, ancient tracks in the sand, leading them deeper into the outback. The air is heavy with silence, and Tara's gaze sharpens, sensing an unseen presence watching from afar, woven into the very land. In the midday heat, shimmering mirages appear on the horizon, distorting reality. They see glimpses of ghostly ruins, half-formed images of ancient structures flickering in the haze, almost within reach, but always out of grasp. At a hidden oasis, the group cautiously wades across a dark, still river. Suddenly, a massive crocodile surfaces, its scales gleaming under the sun. It watches them in silence, unmoving, its presence a powerful reminder of nature's dominion. A desert breeze carries whispers, like voices from another time. Tara's voice is low as she shares the legend of the Guardian of the Sands, an ancient, giant snake that protects Sundara. Her words hang in the air, heavy with meaning. As dusk falls, Daniel spots a shadow moving along the dunes, an enormous brown snake, its scales blending with the desert hues. The snake glides silently, watching them with an intelligence that sends a chill through the group. They come upon towering stone pillars, half buried in sand, marked with mysterious symbols. The pillars cast long shadows as the sun sets, and Tara places her hand on one, whispering in reverence, honoring the ancestors who left these markers. Hidden within the desert's barrenness lies a lush oasis. Water sparkles under the sun, surrounded by vibrant plants, creating a serene sanctuary. The group takes a moment to rest, savoring the peace before Sundara's trials. As they sleep under the stars, a giant butterfly with radiant, translucent wings appears, fluttering above them. Its wings shimmer in hues of blue and purple, casting soft, magical light over the camp, blessing their rest. As they camp near the oasis, Tara notices shadows moving across the rocks. The shape of a snake slithers along the sand, a reminder of the guardian of the sands, silently watching, ever vigilant. At last, the sands part to reveal the outskirts of Sundara. Stone structures and ruins rise from the earth, weathered yet majestic, with intricate carvings hinting at a civilization long forgotten. Awe and reverence fill their gazes. As they enter Sundara, the guardian of the sands appears, coiled and imposing. It watches them with piercing eyes, testing their worth. Tara bows her head in respect, while Daniel and Ben stand frozen, feeling the weight of its presence. In the distance, a kangaroo of vibrant colors appears, its fur shimmering like a prism in the sunlight. It watches them with curiosity, a mystical creature of the desert, bounding gracefully before disappearing into the dunes. Within an ancient chamber, they find artifacts untouched by time, scrolls, pottery, and symbols of wisdom. Daniel is transfixed, but Tara warns him softly, reminding him of the sacredness of what lies here. As Daniel reaches for an artifact, the ground trembles, the city reacting to his intrusion. Sand pours in through cracks, and walls shift, urging them to leave as the city defends itself, casting them out. The Guardian of the Sands blocks their path, coiled and ready. It strikes at them, its fangs glinting as they narrowly escape, Tara's voice calling out a plea. The air is thick with tension, a powerful warning left unspoken. In desperation, Tara pleads with Daniel to return the artifact. She speaks to the Guardian in her native language, her voice soft but full of conviction, begging for mercy as her friends watch with bated breath. Daniel returns the artifact, bowing his head in humility, accepting the land's message. The earth stills, and the Guardian's gaze softens, acknowledging his respect, a silent pact formed between them. As they leave Sundara, the Guardian of the Sands appears one last time, guiding them through safe paths as a reward for their respect. The snake moves with purpose, its presence both awe-inspiring and strangely comforting. Standing at the edge of the desert, they watch as Sundara slowly sinks back into the sand, its secrets retreating with it. Stone by stone, the city fades, until only the open desert remains, a memory preserved in silence.